Well, thank you for being here. I thought uh, my use of poor language would draw more people here, but I guess it had the opposite effect. So looking for more people, and it's, again, a growth opportunity for these guys. I uh, was really excited about our guys and, and how they played, and, and even the last, like I've said for a little while here, the last couple weeks, how they've been going. I thought, you know, RIT is a good team. You can see why they're a good team and why they're where they're at. Have a lot of respect for them and their coaching staff. It's fun to see our, our culture continue to grow and emerge, and the guys to my left and the guy to my right are a big part of that. And, and the team choices that we're making is, is uh, outstanding. It's, it's, our offense has done a nice job creating, and now it feels like we're coming in waves, so that's fun to see. Defensively, I think our sticks have been really good and, and taken another step and got us out of some tough spots. Special teams-wise, PP obviously disappointed with the five-minute. Would have liked to see us take advantage of that. But on the flip side, I think our PK was excellent tonight. At this point, I'll open up the room to questions. At times during the game, RHC seemed to have sort of an aggressive edge. How do you how do you combat that and deal with that? The yeah, well, we complimented our guys. I thought we were really heavy tonight and hard and uh, physical and, and had some nasty as well. So I thought our guys did a nice job pushing back, if not being the aggressor uh, at some points tonight. So it was fun to see us play like that. And uh, it's fun. Hockey's a great sport because it's fun when it's like that. After the after the delay, like, face-off move 30 minutes, how did you deal with that to get out and have it not affect you? I think that's a better question for the guys because it just gave me a chance to have another cup of coffee. So I was doing jumping jacks on the bench, but it doesn't matter if it all me matters. So I think it's a better question for these guys. Yeah, as soon as we found that out, we kind of got a team sewer ball game going, soccer game going to keep the guys in it and uh, keep keep everyone moving and so no one's just sitting around doing nothing. So. Thought we handled it pretty good, and then six o'clock came and did our dynamic warm up, and did, got back in the routine there. Noah, two goals tonight. Um, you're creeping up on the all-time scoring defenseman in Niagara history. Uh, what does that mean to you, and uh, your effect on the team, and just doing whatever you can to help this team win? Yeah, it's obviously an honor of getting points like that, but I think I'm only in this position because of the teammates I'm playing with. I mean, I've been given a lot of opportunity from the coaches, and I've been playing with some good players, especially Stenlin on the power play there, and I'm just happy that I can contribute for some of the wins. All right, I'll, uh, I'll ask the last question here. Uh, Nick, I believe this is going to be your first home playoff series. Yeah. Um, can you just talk a little bit about what that's going to mean to you uh, in a year and a half? Yeah, it's exciting, especially how we're playing at home right now. I think it's a huge advantage and huge opportunity for us going forward. And just in previous years, we've always had to start playoffs on the road, so it's kind of sucked. And being in someone else's barn, it's, it's hard to get going. It's hard to play to their level. So it's nice that we have the advantage coming up here in a couple weeks. And it's a question for Noah. Uh, you haven't ever been at home opening playoffs so far. Um, so it's going to be a new experience for the whole team. How do you guys lead the team? And you know, it's a different experience for you guys and for the freshmen out there. That they want to keep it like this for the next three or four years to live here? Yeah, absolutely. I think obviously our record shows that I think we play better at home, um, especially without the travel. It's, it's easier mentally, and I think we're, we're a little more confident coming into our home ring. So I think it's going to be a good advantage, like Nick said, and hopefully help us get it to the second round. Coach, your final thoughts on home playoff series? You know, it's we've been given a mission. And I'll keep that internal, but the guys have done a great job on, on the mission, and, and I think they've made a loud statement. I believe they've made a loud statement through the regular season, so it's awesome. And they've set themselves up. I, I equate it to a boxer, right? Like you, you jab, jab, and now we've got a chance to deliver a big right. And it's easier to do that at home than on the road. And so we've made it easier on ourselves now. We have to do it. Thank you, everybody. See you in a half.